We're about to face Norman. Hardest fight of the early game. Guess what? We're f***ing past Norman, baby! We smoke in that Mirage Tower Kush. Shorty went down on me like I picked up her fossil. I got like three hours of sleep last night. I know, I was up till like 10 a.m. <laughs> we got some dog sh counters in the desert last night. All right, give me that sh Excadrill, baby. Jolly 31 attack. I'll take it. Fuck you. Shout out to Nitpick from the Patreon. These two are not guys. <laughs> okay, idea for a ROM hack concept, or for a concept for your ROM hack. Make spinners that are actually like difficult to dodge and take skill to dodge and aren't like cheesable to dodge like in Gen 3. But then when you manage to talk to them instead of get hit by them like in other RPGs, you get like a free turn or you get to like choose their lead or something like that. Can't freeze because he's sheer force. 78. Should be Cacturn. Always Seed Bomb. Okay, Demon in. I think he can pay back here. Yep. It's good. It's real good. He doesn't see a kill, can he substitute? So Toxic can never miss here because of Toxic mechanics. So this means that we eventually are going to beat this. This is probably good for me. Hit. Nice. <sighs> Minus one. You can sub again, I think. Hit. Easy. Smoked so much, bro thought I had a wide lens on. <laughs> this shit mean nothing to me, man. Guaranteed weather ball. Okay, plus one citrus. It's guaranteed kill.
This is a guaranteed focus punch. Could be earthquake. Either way, this is safe. And always bait seismic. Hey, Mr. Peach Owl, Sussy Baka, Skibbity Toilet, One Piece Fortnite, I'm not doing this. Guaranteed Seismic Toss. Should be guaranteed focus punch. Um, and we're just gonna erupt him with magical leaf. This is also bright powder sand veil, by the way. Breloom did something, guys! Can we get some motherfucking Drakes in the chat? Insane. Remove Drake. Me when I listen to a version of Astro World that ends too early. I don't know, man. <laughs> Hey, Peach, I've watched your for a while, but ever since I learned you don't have 10 million power in Rise of Kingdoms, I can't anymore. I'm getting there, okay. Okay, so we're gonna poison this. And then, so there's a feature that is run and bun exclusive. Um, that you're gonna see in a second, but first let's do this. Basically, I don't want screens to ever be up. Wait a minute. Oh yeah, no, I'm fine. Okay. For some reason, I thought I should have brought Torterra, but <laughs> I like forgot what my crocodile counter was. So basically, Brick Break breaks screens, right? But in Run and Bun, it also breaks screens if you hit a ghost type. Which I, I just learned right now. We got buffed special defense here in the Sandstorm, so this isn't going to do any damage to us. And we're just going to Brick Break until this dies to Toxic. The question is... The Quebin. Oh wait, no, it's gonna obviously die after Brick Break goes through always, so that's fine. So we're doing this with Golem specifically because it will bait um, Crocodile Earthquake, so it can't set up bulk up on my switch. Honestly, the fact that this Brick Break breaks the screen makes more sense than that it doesn't. You're still hitting it. Your fist is just going through the ghost, but it's also going through the, through the screen. It's not like the screen has a ghost typing. Okay. So this is always Crocodile Earthquake. And, um...
And Muscle Band Raptor is just going to take a kill on this. We're barely faster. And also we barely get this kill because we're like max attack raptor almost. It's like adamant 28. So the nice thing about this is it lowers our defense. So it's so Cloyster can never shell smash on the switch because it sees a kill. And then because Frost Breath always crits, we don't have to worry about it critting again to uh, put Manic Trick into more damage. This can be Weather Ball, but we pre damage for that so that we're always. Basically, we're going to kill the Cloister and then be dead to the next Pokemon's um, move, is the plan. There's the Frost Breath. If this thing had a Sash, it'd be wild. I didn't have to pre-damage because I take two ticks of sand. This is actually a little bit not great, to be 100% honest. Nah, we're fine. It's always exactly Dragon Rush here. Because this incoming Shellgon can Dragon Dance and ruin our life. Forty-six. Yeah, we're fine. Okay, always Dragon Rush. Go to Togi. No reason not to fake out, right? I think this makes Moon uh, Moon Blast a range. Overcoat doesn't like block flinch or some stupid shit like that, right? Okay, he always because we pre damage. He always sees kill with Brick Break. And nothing else, so we can go to Musharna. Feels like to Toga has been like to every fight. Bro, you should see people who run Infernape. <laughs> Shellgun is overcoat, that's why it's not taking sand damage. I think this is still a range. I misclicked. I clicked the wrong moon move. That's a little bad. Okay, don't punish me. Just hit the range. Unlucky. That's not gonna matter. I might go minus one citrus here. I can just go toga. I think. Might be dead to crit. Yeah, toga's dead to crit. That was not a range of EDDs. You're right, yeah. Okay, well, this is a little bit scary now. What a f***ing stupid misclick. Oh well. Okay, so I'm dead to every crit range. Let's think about Quillfish. Quillfish is also just dead to crit. Even through Intimidate. Um... I mean, he could D-Dance.
I think I gotta stay in. This sucks. To be fair, this could have. Ha I think this could have happened if I hadn't misclicked. No, 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 no. Yeah, the misclick was horrible. I might lose another mod and not looking at my screen. It would be the second one <laughs> for this run. So the thing is. He can't dragon dance because he know he's he know knows he's dead. Um If I want to So if I'm only losing something if I get crit, I should switch to Quillfish, I think. Does Aqua Jet kill? It does 6.2 minimum. I th I'm pretty sure Aqua Jet kills. I think I should go to Quillfish. Do I have the ruler? I don't think I have it on me. I'm gonna trust my game sense here and say this is 6% or less. Time to lose something, because I wasn't looking at my screen. I deserve this. I deserve it. 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 Easy. Was I dead to crit? I might have not actually been dead to crit. I think I did that calc wrong. Easy. Never risk. Just lost the citrus. Oh. Should have used the ruler, huh? Now I deserved it. <laughs> Now I deserve to get crit. I need the citrus, guys. Yeah, if I know Aqua Jet doesn't kill there, or if I know Aqua Jet can sometimes not kill there, then Tokenomaru Switch is correct, I think. Another riskless fight, boys. I'm just too goaded with it. What can I say? Okay. Raptor is tanking, like, Horn Leech, two Sand Chips, and a Brave Bird recoil, but I don't think it matters. It's always just double Giga Drain. Because Earthquake into Giga Drain doesn't kill. It's a lot of damage. You know what? Maybe I should have got Miracle Seed him. Well, that wouldn't have made it. That wouldn't have made uh, Earthquake into Giga Ring guaranteed either. So, I think this was correct. Pretty sure this is Go Goat because it outspeeds out damages. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> go, go to the polls. <laughs> That's so fucking stupid. I've been saying this for a while. If anyone who wasn't Hillary Clinton had said Pokemon go to the polls, it would have been the funniest shit ever. 
That's actually like... It's actually pretty funny. Like, that's a pretty decent punchline. It really was kind of before its time. Okay. Worst result, but it's fine. Shouldn't matter. If I did everything right. Alright, so Exka should not be able to rock polish here because he's faster than Sice me. And it should always be exactly high horsepower. So, we just go Raptor, we outspeed, we kill with close combat. That's how we do it. Slime. This shit mean nothing to me, Camper Drew. I engage in close combat with all of your mons. Over a and gram of weed. Get the f out of here. At Peachal, what's your secret? I murdered a waitress in a Chili's parking lot. In game, of course. Am I dead to Heat Wave already? Not yet. This should be bullet punch. Alright. Okay, we have an issue. Actually, no, we don't have an issue. I'm dead to hyper voice too, but that's like fine. Alright. So. Noctowl's faster, so it baits this. This is why I didn't do Thunderbolts on the Scizor, because I need to be dead to Heat Wave before this happened. Um, and I was too lazy to pre-damage this. So, we go here. We hope that we don't get Heat Wave burned. Cool. Wild Charge kills. Just hypnotize me. And then Tangrowth outspeeds and kills. This shit ain't nothing to me, man. I went Chesto, right? Right? Cool.
I haven't seen a single burn this whole run without Rost backup. Maybe I just play around it well. I'm pretty sure AI doesn't see Pryo as fast kills, right? Yeah, not for switch in. Obviously, if it's out in combat, yes, but not for the switch in. Howdy, howdy, everyone. I mean, it doesn't super matter here. It might matter, but. Okay, bait the Doug Trio. Oh no, I'm fing arena trapped. Fuck. What do I. Oh, wait. Dude, Staraptor has been fing killing it on this, on this split, by the way. Staraptor is crazy. What did I switch in Tangrowth on Golem instead of Dugtrio? Because Tangrowth is faster and so I'll kill. And it's earlier in the party order. Dude, different trainer classes having different kinds of AI would be pretty cool. I actually kind of agree with that. And honestly, Quillfish has been pretty fucking useful throughout the entire run. Shouldn't matter. I have a guaranteed three shot anyway. Wolfish just has like a really unique typing. <laughs> Shared only by like three other mons, but you know what I mean. It's got Intimidate, it's fast. It's good. It's good. How much is Rock Slide crit? 55. And Tim can be nice. Just a good mon. I don't think you can evolve this into Overquill, right? Yeah. You would have to not get this and get Hisuian Quillfish later in the game.